Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Room Snow. Today we'll be going over Magic the Gathering, top 10 cryptic cards in all of Magic, and now at number 10. So the first one on our list is Cryptid and Iliad from various sets, Uncommon and just going for an average price of 13 cents. Well, the reason why it's at number 10 is, well, we had to put something on here, and it's a very interesting warm beast creature, so we don't typically see that. Cost 4 mana for a 1-4, it says, when it is the battlefield, scry 1, then scry 2, then scry 3. Well, there's other things you can do that are much faster, and just for a 1-4, this might as well just be a wall, and that's why the reason why it's at number 10. So let's move on to number 9. And number 9, as you just mentioned, is one of my personal favorites, is Cryptic Spires from Double Masters of 2022. It's a common going for 11 cents on the market. At the time of this video, this is fluctuating in the price value because this is the newest set that is has been released. So again... Cryptic Spires, really cool card. Basically, you just circle two, and it comes to play tapped. Add one mana of the circle colors of your choice. Well, it's an easy choice. I think, personally, if you don't want to play anything other, like rare land, this one, you can just write it on. The only downfall is you better have a lot of Cryptic Spires, because once you do it, that's it. You ruin the card. Then again, you did ruin the card if you do circle it. Really cool card, really cool flexibility. Let's move on to number eight. At number 8, we have Myogen of the Cryptic Dreams from Neon Dynasty Commander. It's a rare, just going for a whopping 35 cents at the time in this video. Well, cost 8 for this 3 3. Pretty uh, expensive if you look at that point. But it enters the battlefield with an indestructible counter on it if you cast it from your hand. Remove a counter from it, copy target permanent spell that you control three times. Well, that's a lot of flexibility, but really three times, what could you possibly do? For just for that amount of mana just to do this, I, I seems to be like, even though this is a rare, it's it's too much. That's why it's at number eight. So let's move on to number seven. We have Yannette Cryptic Sovereign from Commander 2018. It's a mythic. That's right, a dollar seventy-two. Well, this three five costs five mana, has flying villages and menace. Really hard to, to beat that. When it attacks, reveal the top card of your library. If that card's converted mana cost is odd. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Otherwise, draw a card. 100% nothing drawback about this. I, I just personally, I don't I don't really like this card. Um, Just, it costs this amount of mana for all this. And it can be easily taken out as I suppose to anything else. But you draw a card. I don't know. I'd rather take control of my own card ability. So let's move on to number six. Which we have is Cryptic Serpent from various sets being an uncommon with an average price of 13 cents. This one is basically pretty simple and basic. Well, 5 plus 2 islands, it's a 6-5. It costs 1 less to cast for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard, which can be very done easy, especially if it is a vintage or a type 1 or whatever you want to do. This can be drawn out by turn 4 up, possibly. So it's a really cool card. I like that. So let's move on to number 5. And halfway down our list is Cryptic Pursuit from New Capita Commander Series. It's a rare going just for 42 cents on the market. This one costs 4 mana, and while well, this card could be great, or it could be really horrible, whenever you cast an insert or search spell from your hand, manifest the top card of your library. Put that card onto the battlefield, face down as a 2 2 creature, turn it face up anytime its mana costs if it's a creature card. Whenever you face down creature you control dies, exile. Instead, if it's an instant sorcery card, you may cast that card until the end of your next turn. whoop de doo So this basically brings out creatures. Um, there are some side effects that could help, but I just there's so much wrong with this card. But it is a cryptic card, so it is better than some. So let's move on to number four. Well, we got Cryptic Caves. It's from various sets, being an uncommon with an average price of 12 cents on the market pretty basic add one colors well you can also pay one sacrifice and draw a card activate this ability only if you control five or more lands so at that point you might be out of cards a drawing card you just can't beat that that's the reason why it's at number four is because by the time you can do this ability most likely you will need more cards in your hand so let's move on to number three where we have is Cryptic Trilobite from Commander 2020. It's a rare going for an average price of 36 cents on the market. And this one I put here is because 
it can be a creature of whatever you want, but it's also those extra abilities. So enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. But he knows that it's X, X on the top right. Also, you may remove a counter from it, add a two colorist to it. Spend this mana ability only to activated abilities. Pay one, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So you can just use it as a playing creature, pump it up, or use it to get more mana for those activated abilities. You can just, so much you can do around with this one. So let's move on to number two. Well, we got Cryptic Gateway from Onslaught, being a rare with an average price of $8.08, .08, and we're finally starting to get to some playable and expensive cards out of the top 10 Cryptic. This one costs five mana for this artifact. I absolutely love the artwork by David. And this one says, tap two untapped creatures you control. You may put a creature card from your hand into play that shares a creature type with each creature tapped this way. Well, there's not much more to say about that. That's pretty obvious and, and explained. And for five, yeah, that can be very helpful. So let's move on to number one. Well, at the number one spot, we got Cryptic Command from various sets being a rare with an average price of $16.90. Well, look at the artwork. Look at the card. Absolutely amazing. Well, it costs only four mana, but it says choose two. Counter target spell or return target to its owner's hand or tap all creatures your opponent controls or draw a card. Wow. And you get to choose two for that four mana. When it's considering most counter spells nowadays or cost three. This is an ultimate card that you can have fun with. Definitely controlling the board. So there is that. And that's the top 10 cryptic. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.